Um, this is the first video in the introduction uh, videos to Microsoft Excel uh, in our series of Microsoft Excel for chemical engineers and actually this is gonna just be a very very simple introduction um, that uh, will not go into any details of chemical engineering um, uh, but just I'm, uh, I'm interested in um, uh, in this introduction in uh, letting you know uh, some very basic stuff about Microsoft Excel and the calculations and um, the more important thing is to know how Microsoft Excel understands your input and how you can uh, give the Excel the right input so it understands what you uh, really want to do um, uh, so um, first of all as you see Microsoft Excel just consists of some uh, cells and each cell is part of a row and a column and it uh, it's named based on this uh, row and column so this is A1 and this is B2 and this is C2 and whatever uh, the, the cell you are standing on or are selecting is gonna uh, have the name based on the column and the row and um, all the uh, uh, operations that you can do are here in these ribbons and we are gonna pass by them one by one when we need any one of them we will just go ahead and and check this uh, uh, option of course we are not gonna cover all of them but we are just covering the stuff that are more important to us as chemical engineers um, so um, as we all know mainly we use Microsoft Excel to do uh, basic calculations and some more advanced calculations as we're gonna see in the next videos so um, um, let's go ahead and see how we do the calculation so first when we go ahead and do the calculation let's say I wanna calculate 5 plus 6 so if I come here in this cell and uh, write 5 plus 6 and then press enter then it's not gonna do anything it's gonna just write this uh, and this is because um, Excel now doesn't understand that you uh, wanna calculate something it just understands that you write 5 plus 6 to let Microsoft Excel know that you wanna do a calculation then you need to press equal first so in this case you'll find that this function uh, the enter and cancel buttons are now active in this case you can write the same equation 5 plus 6 and then when you press enter now it's 11 so it's it, it now understood that you want to uh, do this calculation um, uh, so this is the first thing uh, the main operations that we need to use is the addition which is plus subtraction which is minus uh, multiplication which is the star which is shift and 8 button and the division which is the uh, the slash uh, which is this and the power sometimes I need the power is the head button which is shift and six so these are the main operations that you need to do with Excel and sometimes we need to use the brackets uh, just to do some calculations before others in the same uh, in the same cell um, then uh, there is um, one more thing that's important to know when you input your data into Excel. Um, Excel understands your input as a number or any other thing which is not a number. Uh, so for instance, if you like write a name or a letter, then uh, this this is your input. So it's, it's uh, a letter. If you write a number then this is a number and you you, you need to note that when it's a number it's uh, aligned to the right of the cell and if it's not a number it's aligned to the left of the cell uh, this might not look very important but actually it's really important because let's say if you want to press or write a number 10 and then instead of writing the 0 you write O and in this case you press enter it's it's you see it as 10 but it's actually not 10 and it's really important because if you want to do a calculation based on this cell then Excel will not do anything because it doesn't see this as a number you you see it as a number but this is the thing that I was talking about in the beginning of the of the video that your input might, might not be the right input to Excel you see it as something and Excel so sees it as something else so in this case you need to uh, rewrite it as 10 in this case it will be aligned to the right so it's really important to note that your input uh, really has uh, different alignment based on its type um, one more thing about Excel is um, uh, the way you uh, write your input so let's say I have uh, 
like an, an a, a chemical engineering example one of the most important parameters that we uh, use a lot is the density so let's say I'm saying the density of water is thousand kilograms per meter cube uh, so now I understand that this is the density and I can do some calculation based on this but again it, Microsoft Excel doesn't understand this it just sees this as just a bunch of stuff that are written and it's not a number so if you want to do some uh, calculations based on this then you you'd better write it as this you just write the density in a, sim as, uh, in a single cell and the number in a single cell and the units in a single cell Microsoft, uh, Microsoft Excel doesn't care about all this stuff it just cares about the number this uh, the, the the density and the units are just for you just to know that this is a density and these are the units of this density um so uh if you want to do any calculations based on this uh, number then it's okay you're fine but just to know that this is the density and these are the units one cool thing about excel you can just do some cosmetic stuff like let's say i want to make this three as a superscript so if you right click and press format cell then you will find this window that's coming up now and it gives you some options of um, of this number uh, or this uh, highlighted uh, text or number so you can uh, change the font you can change um, anything about uh, this highlighted uh, number so uh, it can change the font the font style the size and we just want to make it a superscript you can make it a subscript as well so it doesn't make any difference again this is just some cosmetic stuff one more thing is the um, density we are not used to write density as density we just are used to write it as rho which is the, the Greek symbol and actually if you wanna insert this symbol then it will be kind of a long process you you go to insert and then symbol and then you find you look for the the right uh, uh, font let's say this uh, gonna be a symbol and then you uh, look for this here and you might find it and you might not find it so it's here actually and then you close but uh, but it's 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 gonna be a long process and um, you you don't always uh, find your uh, symbol simply so one thing uh, which is cool about Excel and all other office uh, or any other software uh, which is the the symbol font which is one of the the fonts in, in Windows actually you don't need to install it and find it anywhere if you choose the symbol font you'll find it here and then if you if you press R then it will be row if you press A it will be alpha if you press B G all these symbols are available you don't need to do insert any uh, any specific uh, uh, symbols and actually uh, I made this table you you find here all the the normal font uh, letters and the symbols and you have some uh, uppercase and some lowercase which is really really nice you don't need to do anything about them just change the font into symbol and you'll you'll be fine uh, this this table is gonna be available in the link below the video now okay so now I have this um, density is thousand kilogram per meter cube and let's say I have the mass uh, of water is let's say four kilograms and I want to calculate the volume uh, and we all know that the volume is uh, rho uh, mass over density so uh, I can write it as uh, four divided by thousand and this will be meter cubed right and um, and the calculations are fine it's 4 over 1000 it's going to be 0.04 but this is not uh, the best way to do this in excel and actually we didn't make use of the very very important or the very best uh, function in excel which is doing calculation based on the calculations in in or the numbers in different cells actually this calculation can be done this way i can press equal and then select this cell and then divide by this cell and um, it's gonna give the same the same value uh, but the good thing about it you can f see exactly which cell is uh, you calculating from and the good thing the other good thing is that you can change if you change the value of the, the mass you have here then it's gonna calculate change the value of the V uh, which is calculated from this cell so the, this cell is gonna change its value uh, according to any change in these calculations or the these uh, values you have in the other cells let's say I have another mass let's say it's mass 2 sorry it's mass 2 and it's let's say 15 kilograms and for uh, 
and for some reason I I did the mistake and I calculated this cell uh, or this volume based on this mass and I should have calculated it from the second one one cool thing that you can change this formula by just grabbing this and moving it to this side but just make sure that the the cursor uh, or the mouse changes its uh, shape from this normal shape into the mouse that has four arrows coming from it and then it's now doing the calculations with itself. It's it's gonna be really important if you have a, a really uh, good uh, or really uh, long uh, calculation or uh, equation, and you need to change in one of these uh, stuff. Especially you have every uh, uh, every border has the color of uh, the the number or the cell number that you are calculating from. So you can definitely or easily tell which is which. Um, uh, there is one. Uh, uh, last thing I wanna uh, say before I finish this video is how um, Microsoft Excel shows some errors. Sometimes you can do some errors in your calculations, and uh, it uh, it just gives an error. And sometimes you panic and feel that everything is going going wrong. And actually, it's it's not something to panic. Just it just tells you that you have a problem and you have to take care of this problem. Let's say I have number uh, two numbers ten, five, and zero. Let's say I have these three numbers, and I wanna uh first um, add this to this but instead of pressing uh enter i pressed any any other like letter before i press enter so actually um it's gonna give me this name error which lets me know that there is something wrong with my formula it should be f12 plus f13 but there is something here which is doesn't make any sense to excel so you just need to check the formula and make sure that this is written in the right form so this is the first error the second error if i wanna let's say divide this by this and instead of this uh, formula uh, dividing by five i made a mistake and divided by this zero and it's gonna just let me know that you are dividing by zero so what i need to do is to change it into uh, the right cell um, um, so these are the two main errors that you may like find when you uh, do these uh, calculations using Excel. And um, uh, one last thing is that how uh, Excel shows the number. So let's say I have 10,000 and uh, these two are the same number. And actually you can uh, show the number in different forms. And one of the important forms that you'll, uh, you'll find uh, if I do format cell, uh, and it's really important for engineers actually, if you go to the format cell and then number, you can find this scientific one, you can find time percentage, accounting currency, and all these different things, but it's the important, the most important one that we really care about is the scientific, which is showing the number as one point something or something point something, but E uh, and then number, which is multiplied by 10 to the 4. So this is the same number as this. It just so it shows the number as 1 multiplied by 10 to the 4th. And it's really important if you're doing these uh, uh, calculations or you're, you're like having dealing with numbers that are really big, like f to the power of 5 or 6. You don't care about the small numbers. You just care about the power. Uh, so it's just uh, one other form of showing the number. It doesn't make any difference with the calculations or any other thing with Excel. So this is like all what I need to do for the first video and we are going to complete uh, this in the next video. Inshallah.